Today I'm talking about perfectionism and how it can hinder your progress and stunt your growth. And we are, we are about that elevate life. We're about that next level. Some entrepreneurs or or creatives can often become obsessed with perfection. It's, It's great that you want your business or your work to be the best that it can be. However, you also need to realize that progress is more important than perfection. In fact, perfectionism might be hindering your business. If you look at some of the successful entrepreneurs or business owners, you'll see that they took their work one step at a time to get where they are today. And you will need to do the same basically for your own business. It takes years and years to build a successful business and you can't expect it to appear overnight. I've been working on Elevate for 15 years now and it's still far from perfect, but I have made progress. That <laughs> That's a fact. In this episode, I'm going to dive into why perfectionism is a hindrance to you and how to focus on and track your progress. So let's get into it. Welcome to the Elevate Your World podcast. This podcast is for anyone who wants to take their business to the next level. Each episode tackles a topic relevant to entrepreneurs and those looking to start a business. I share tips and tricks on how you can grow your business, find success and elevate your life. I am your host, Jules. In business, perfection is the enemy of profitability. Wow, says Mark Cuban. Why you don't want perfectionism is being a perfectionist can greatly slow down your workflow. It can cause you to waste your time and lower your productivity. And I'm really speaking from experience here. (laughs) If you know you're going to need to spend a lot of time making something perfect, it can be much harder to get working on it and it creates procrastination. For me personally, perfectionism was the reason why I delayed launching this podcast. And then finally, I did launch it. I would spend hours editing like a six minute episode. I only, my episodes are normally around the 10 minute mark. No, no longer than 10 minutes, but I could spend like just literally the whole day just trying to make it perfect. It just took up too much time. (laughs) And perfectionists are always discontent with their work. This causes them a lot of stress and worry and soon it will start feeling like nothing that you do is good enough, which is really not a good mindset to have. If you're feeling this way, you'll never feel satisfied with your work. So to stay happy and healthy, you'll want a more positive mindset. So instead of focusing on perfection, put your focus into making progress. So learn to do good enough while trying to do better each day. You want to improve each time you make something for your business. Plus, it's easier, much easier to measure your progress than it is to tell if something is perfect. Now, at the same time, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't put all your effort into the work that you do. Furthermore, if you don't feel your work is quality, your audience may notice. And it's better to have confidence in everything you make and do for your business. Perfection is impossible (laughs) to achieve. Even the most well-known entrepreneurs are not perfect. Perfectionism includes impossibly high standards that can never be reached. When you hit a certain goal with your work, then you continue redoing it to try and make it perfect. You likely will feel like you're not you're not reaching the standard you set for yourself. And this can have such a negative impact on your mental health. It can leave you feeling unsatisfied and unsure of the quality of, of your work. Over time, this can even make you feel worthless. Instead, you want to focus on the positives. Consider each new job or sale a learning experience. Once you've completed the project, you know that the next one you do will be even better. Now, how to focus on progress. It can be difficult to see your progress at first. One thing to do is to start by looking at the big picture. Are you accomplishing your goals? Is your audience growing? Are you making more sales? These are just some random examples. And if you are, then you're making great progress with your business. You want to hold yourself accountable for the work that you do. And this does not mean being a perfectionist. Instead, you'll want to do the best work you can in the time frame that you have. While some revisions are likely to be needed, you don't want to rework everything constantly. This will leave you feeling drained and you might even start resenting your business. And next, celebrate all of your wins, big and small. This will make all of your goals feel important and allow you time to feel good about the hard work that you're doing. 
And trust me, you you deserve to celebrate. (laughs) But how do you actually track progress? You'll want to set aside a small block of time each day that you work so you can log your progress. If you're using project management tools and apps, you can view your daily, weekly progress in there. But make sure to record all of your accomplishments, whether they are big or small. A suggestion, you can use a success folder. This is something I do that you can have on your phone or your laptop and take screenshots, files, pictures, anything. And then you can use that for motivation. At the end of each week, you can review what you've accomplished. And from there, you can determine what your goals for the next week should be. In life, everything is about balance. So while working hard to start, run and grow your business, producing quality work is important, yes, but perfect work doesn't exist. So focus on the amazing progress you're making and the lives your business is changing. Thank you for listening to this episode on perfectionism. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website, elevatestudiouk.com, and I will see you on the next episode. <laughs>